Greetings, Matthijsu here, and I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. Why is Team Fortress 2 so much more fun than Overwatch? As here, that's not the main reason here. And really, it's a matter of personal preference. Main reason here is actually to use this fun loot that I've been using them a bit. Mm. Ghost Rock is maybe not the best map for it, but... I want to do that in this mission as well and got blown up by the guy. Yeah. If you want. Oh, he's having fun there. Anyway, don't answer to that question if you want to hit. The short answer pubs and. Uh, well, pubs and freedom. The freedom to experience, freedom to practice. The freedom to suck, freedom to do stupid stuff and things, and the freedom to get shot by arrows. Well, you do have that freedom in Overwatch as well, so. But yeah, the class themselves do provide more freedom in the playthroughs, and that is before we think about the all the weapon unlocks. And. Uh, Oh, yeah, things are really fun here in this during Spring Fortress. Even crits that uh, often does not listen to really that useful well at long range, but well. As I'm seeing, I'm using a panic attack, and I have been using it a bit recently. And uh, as a pyro, it has some problems with your trying to use it the way you usually would use your secondary. But it's going a bit different. Using it to actually initiate the uh, fight, and then after I fight the shots, I will either switch weapons or try to load up more shots, depends on. And uh, I'm using it together with the degrees because, well, oh, Spycraft, nice. And here we have Marasma, so we need to focus on him. Probably not going to record this entire round, because it's Ghost for it take, can take forever, so... Where did he go? Anyone know? Ah, oh, there he is. Die, stupid wizard. Maybe not the best class to fight him with. Ah, uh, well, don't fight him. But yeah, and the reason for the degrees of it's the weapon switch. It has faster deploy and also speed. So when uh, I fire my shots, well, I I may want to get my I want my flamethrower out as quickly as possible if I decide in the situation where I'm using date, so... And then... So yeah, I'm going to play until I have completed this Maris mission, I think. One thing why I'm using the power jacket as the melee, I used I actually initially used the back scratcher. And it turned out for most of the rounds, team actually had a whole whole bunch of uh, medics. And when you do have a whole bunch of medics, the back scratcher isn't really that good. 
When healing comes from medics, it's bad. When healing comes from, well, uh, health packs, it's really good. So, at this point, it would probably be good. Can't fight the heavy face to face, and well, this Ludath has some issues. But it's fun to try these things, and that's really the freedom here. You can try new things, you can practice things, because you have the freedom to, well, it's like, yeah, there is 12 people in each team, and like 6 of And you have the freedom to run into sticky traps. Very important freedom to have. You always have the freedom. Yeah, I like pubs where you have, uh, generally in teams, a core of competent and decent players, and then you have all the people that maybe they just install the game, or they are playing plus they aren't really that good at. And really, they can't get good without, well, practicing. You need to practice good then. Well, you can practice at a spot, but that will only take you so far. But if you're not really new that well, it won't really negatively affect your team as badly as it would do when there are a few players. And really, pubs, it's the heart and soul of Team Fortress. It's what matters. Well, maybe you enjoy competitive. Good for you, it's always well, fun to have these kinds of stuff, and I appreciate people like it, but. This is what matters, and well, it's what's fun. Yep, that's cool. If not for Marasmus, I would probably be dead. But well, Marasmus may may very well kill me soon, so. A with a shotgun, I'm not really going to do that much damage. But the flamethrower, well, it has an even worse range, so yeah. I'm not really going to contribute that much in fight against the Rasmus, as I mentioned, but well. Yeah, this sound of the hit sound. Yay! Awesome. Find this hiding place. Yes, I found him. Got the extra metal sniffing point. So we got him! Yay, teams! And my, I'm almost done with Meta's mission. I think we got all the red guys over here, so... Yeah, my aim is not always that great. But if you have a good aim, well, the panic attack, you fire very quickly. Yeah, it... There is... there is some problems here. With switching weapon after you need to fire all the shots and um, yeah. But, but it has been this build has been surprisingly effective whenever I've used it, so. And now I can actually turn in the matter's mission. And then so let's see what I got. Forming the ritual. Oh, haunted spooky sleeves! Hmm. One thing I check. Yeah. I do have the spooky shoes as well. And they, they are not actually. They fit together with the spooky sleeves, I think. And are, for some reason, not retrieved to Halloween. It's. There are some. I'm using the extra side see. That's one not retrieved to Halloween. And really, really I, I like that fact. Well, let's deal with this. Oh, well, he ran away. 
Uh, let, let's take a jump. And on the jump. Wee! 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 Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.